everybody, it's Crazy Mango Shime here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with The Mandalorian, episode 6, chapter 14. Oh, guys, the last episode is definitely my favorite. But now we are officially going blind into this show. We don't know what's going to happen. But it seems on the thumbnail of this episode that Din has gone back to Navarro because... Cara Dune is on the cover with Din, so I'm wondering what's happening and, you know, wh which direction this episode is going to go because many things could happen and, oh, there's, a, there's many possibilities and just, I honestly don't know what the hell's going to happen next. Obviously, we know that there is some sort of path that Din is going to follow. He's going to go to the planet Ty Tython, I think that's what it's called. I'm guessing that's not going to be this episode because we've got two more episodes after this before the end of the season, which is quite shocking. It's gone so so quick and just I can't believe that we're already two episodes away from the f like the end of this season so goddamn let's just jump straight into this because again have no idea what's gonna happen so yeah let's just jump straight into this but before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows movies and video games so without further ado let's jump straight into this oh special kid. We're gonna find that place you belong and they're gonna take real good care of you. No! <laughs> I don't like wait no wait oh this is something else I've been scared. I never talk about it because it's just like I don't want to think of them ever separating but again like it just seems like Din is becoming so attached to this you know baby Grogu and just oh like it's such a beautiful relationship again I spoke about this in the previous episode but just like the growth of the relationship and you could see just like how like curious Din is about this child I guess because of Mandalorian culture in his culture you know the helmet goes on as soon as they reach a certain age etc so they don't really get to see those sort of like expressions and stuff and just like the curiosity so just like it's so nice to explore that through Din and seeing like just like the child as well in that relationship growing and I don't want them to separate anyway the tragedy what 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 no 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 I'm scared I don't want to watch this episode now. I'm scared what? does this look Jedi to you <laughs> does this look Jedi to you it does indeed Oh, bless Din. We gotta get out of here. <gasps> what the? We gotta get <gasps> Oh no! Oh, I'm terrified. Oh no. I don't know, I've got a really bad feeling. <laughs> <gasps> it's Boba! That's Boba, yeah? That's Boba. That- Oh my god! Guys, he's here! Finally! Properly! A simple man making his way through the galaxy. Like my father before me. Oh! <laughs> my friends locked on to that little companion of yours up on the hinge. And if you remember, I don't miss. Fennec? You have a keen ear, man. <gasps> from Tatooine. Don't take the jetpack off. Oh, that's such a bad idea. That's the only way you can get fast enough to the child. Oh, is it big no win? Oh, Milan. Oh, no. Did your jetpack? Oh, Jesus. No! Oh! Thank god, it's just stormtroopers. I thought it was gonna be those dark troopers and I was like, okay, we're screwed! Oh, thank god. What sort of weapon is that? Oh! I mean, he is one of the greatest, like, fighters in the galaxy, so... I'm not surprised! Oh! Nice! 
the Burva? Ah! Oh, it's so cool! Oh my god! Oh my god! The toy is so like cool. Yes, Burva. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Man? Oh, the the thing, yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was so good. <gasps> no! What the hell, man? No, no, no! The music on point, but no! 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 No, 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 no! They're back. Oh. The Empire. They're back. Because oh, okay, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Why? Oh. They make us get attached. Oh, it survived. Oh god, I hate crying on camera. Then our deal is complete. Not quite. How so? For the safety of the child. The child's gone. Julie has returned to you safely. You're in your debt. <laughs> They're partnering up with Burma! Yes! <laughs> Ex-Imperial sharpshooter. Last name Mayfeld. Apprehended near the del- Oh! Mayfeld. To spring him to help me locate Moth Gideon's light cruiser. Damn, it's giving me such a vibe with the movies. Like, attention to detail, so good. I love this series so much. <gasps> yes, Grogu! <laughs> oh, nice Grogu. Oh, but he's so powerful, they can use him. Get away from him! Have you ever seen one of these? <gasps> oh. Looks like you could use. A nice, long sleep. <gasps> no! <laughs> when we come out of hyperspace, send an encrypted message to Dr. Pershing. Let him know we have got our donor. Yes, sir. next two episodes my first thought <laughs> but like oh dude i didn't think we'd come to tython like now i was like oh yeah it's gonna be the end of the ep like next episode or like the last episode of the season and the child will get taken but no they're not waiting a second for like anything <laughs> they're like <laughs> they're just going 
going straight into it. And I like it, but I can't handle it. That's why I was like, at the beginning of the episode when it was all mushy and stuff, like with Din, I was like, Something's gonna happen, I have a feeling. And then the bloody, like, title came, The Tragedy. Of course something bad's gonna happen. But damn, I, I'm gonna say it. They did a fantastic job with the pacing. I'm guessing they made the episode so short, just so, you know, they can keep the pacing up in the next episode. I'm kind of shocked they're half an hour. Shortest episode, but s most impactful. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's heating up now. Things are getting more serious. So we know that things are getting to a climax and there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen that I'm very nervous about. So also, the next big thing, Boba Fett. Like, everyone was wondering, where the hell is he? Like, and this is the thing, like, I remember being so scared that Boba Fett was just going to be a tool that was being used to create his own, like, show. Because obviously there are rumors and I think there's a confirmation that the Boba Fett show is coming to show about... His storyline, what he's been doing recently, like, you know, uh, like, uh, after everything that happened in the movies and stuff. So, I was worried that the only reason he was in the show for a split second was because of the fact that it was promoting that he might have a show. And that, I was like, that's probably a Disney move, and I was really disappointed. I was like, really? That's really sloppy, and that's not something I like a lot? Like, I just hate that. But... It wasn't! <laughs> it actually paid off and Boba was in this episode and was amazing and uh, as soon as he had the armor on it was like straight to that like oh, that bounty hunter we know and just like so good at fighting and just also it's so good to see. I'm gonna screw his name up I apologize because he was also in the Star Wars movies Timura Morrison but yeah he's just you know he's obviously been the face of the clones in the movies for so long so it was like it's so great to see that they brought him back to be Boba Fett and just oh it's so good to see him and obviously he's a lot older now but Still, he still got it, and he was amazing, so good. Even, like, without the armor, him fighting with, I don't know what that thing was, but, like, the the, the long stick he was fighting with, it was so cool. Very well choreographed, loved it. And again, pacing throughout that whole, like, climatic, like, act that happened, oh, that was huge, and just, like, very fast paced but also very well done um it kept those emotional beats up and it just it was very very well done and then obviously finnick is there like at first i was like who's that who's finnick and then I, and then obviously it pans into who she is and i was like oh damn that's the girl from last season ming na wen i think that's her name yeah ming na wen who plays Mulan as well, so it's so good to see her, because even like last season, I was like, why are they only bringing her in for one episode? Because she's so good, she's such an amazing actress, so to see her back in the the Star Wars universe, in the Mandalorian universe, it's so good. But it also means because of that part where he was like, we're, you know, we're still in indebted to you, so we still need to pay off that debt, so that means that Jen's going to be in partnership with Boba Fett and Finnick for the rest of the season and for how long, like, whatever it is until we find what happens to Grogu. Um, so yeah, that's a bit scary, but it, yeah, and also the fact that Din is going to May 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 Mayfield. But yeah, I'm I wonder what's gonna happen next. So I'm guessing they're obviously gonna go get him out. Obviously with Kara's help as well, so that means that we get to see more of her. God damn it, so ugh. We talked about this on the Aftermath, me and Alex, last episode. Um, if you don't know what the Aftermath is, quick plug. It's where me and the Buzzden brothers talk about everything to do with the Mandalorian. We review it, we break it down, and we talk about possible theories and just other like just plot points that could possibly happen in the Mandalorian series in the future or in this season and Alex got one thing right. He got <laughs> the rumor was that the girl who was in the other episode um, where the Dark Troopers first appeared said that she had held and seen Baby Yoda on set. Huh, that makes sense because mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Ba not baby Yoda, sorry. Grogu. <laughs> he's becoming more stronger with the force that's great to see but he still gets really exhausted the poor thing and 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 they're getting um yeah um that that doctor to come back and do tests on him i really 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 hope they don't hurt him because he's so precious and just like 
I really, really, really don't want anything to happen to him. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I'm guessing you guys did because I was an emotional wreck and I still am. Um, please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of this amazing series called The Mandalorian. I also wanted to say the production is amazing. Like every attention to detail is perfect. The music, pr like the sets, and even just like on these landscapes, they're all different and they're beautiful. So well done. And oh damn, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so scared for what's going to happen next. And just, again, we have no idea what's going to happen because Thankfully, they don't give teasers out for the show. Like, you have to watch the episodes. Oh, no. I'm going to have so much anxiety for next week's episode. And next week is a very big week because we've got the Game Awards in the morning. And then I've got to jump right into doing this right after. So, if I'm exhausted by the end of next week's episode, <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm a busy woman. <laughs> so, again, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!